Hey friends, so we're starting off with a messy table, but for all a good reason. Um, I was just on my Instagram and I was showing my mini and I'm putting it together. I really wanted to wait till I kind of had everything together to show you guys, but I figured if I don't do it now, you'll never see me put it together. So I have this paper here from Joann's and I was actually still been using this paper for a cover, but I ended up using it for a uh, dashboard. And also I have some of this. Now I have some of this previously cut, but I made some errors. Here it is, previously cut, but I didn't take my punch holes up high enough, I don't believe. So it's not quite fitting well, and then some spray adhesive gotten on it. I'm gonna still try to figure out a way to use this, and I may make these into some pockets, some adhesive pockets, since I cut those wrong. So I'm gonna set those to the side. Also, I have some vellum paper, and what I've done, I had a freebie from Gold Mine and Coco. So what I did was I went ahead and printed her out on the vellum, but it didn't get her shirt all of the wordings on her shirt, but I'm cool with that for right now because I just wanna kinda get it into my planner. Oh, and here goes some more of that paper. And this is the paper pack that I'm using, Miss Sparkle & Co. It was in the markdown section, and I think it's not that expensive to begin with, and it was like a dollar and like 19, 17 cents. So here it goes. So I'm gonna use these as dashboards as well, and I thought all of that would go well. And I'm gonna use save these for my tabs to make. So by now, oh, and I have some laminating paper, and on Instagram, I said how I doubled my laminating paper to make my, um, I'll show you all how I do that. So because we're gonna make a transformer, let's get our pages together first. So I pretty much cleared off my table while I was talking to you guys. And I'll show you my process of how I do this. I'm still learning, you know, I'm still learning, so bear with me.
Okay, so now we got our paper, and this is pretty much how I do it. I take my template, I take my pen, and using the edge works the best. So that's kind of like a little less cutting. So I go to the back of the page and make my markings. because you pretty much won't see that. I'll do the same on the next one. Take it to the edge. And try to get it as even as possible. I'm going to show you this one thing and then we're going to start to um oh and by the way y'all this paper was on sale um it was 50 percent off so this one i think was regularly either 149 or 199 and you got it for like a dollar or 70 something cent a piece okay so now we want to make the dashboard so let me find our dashboard here So we want to do two 
because you want it to be front and back. I mean, your back can be anything. Now, let me show you how I did this because this is kind of, um, I had to figure this out. Where's my ruler? Here we go. So what I did, I had to make, this was kind of hard to make it just kind of like the Happy Planner. Um, first, I had to line it up. I moved it up just a little bit like this and what I did was find out where the original paper was which is right here so I made a mark where the original line was came over so I could line that up and then that's the original line slide it up And this original line is the when I say original line I mean the original paper line it's right there and right there now the original paper line let's see going across I'm gonna do that so that's about right now the original paper line going across is slide it down a little bit going this way so I need to move that and it'll be going that way okay so the first thing I'm going to do is cut the length first so lengthwise this is our original line now I'm going to cut off the bag I'd say it's about an inch down lord help me so I think that's our original line there Let's see. Let's measure it up. Perfect. I couldn't have done it <laughs> any better. Okay, so now we're going to take this one. So this is now our guideline. And we kind of already have a line to cut across because it's right there. So we just need, I'm going to still measure it out. because I want it to be perfect. There we go. So, here it is our line. Now, time for the fun part. We're about to double up our laminating paper. Here's one. So we want to get that in there really, really good. And you're gonna push it all the way to the end. Excuse my thing there. Same thing. 
Now, I'm going to tell y'all, learn from a mistake about me. Don't let anything else get in there. And we're going to open the second, the first piece up. Push it to the end again. Get anything extra, so push it, double push it. Get rid of everything. I see a little piece of hair, but I don't know where it's at. So now we're going to run it through the laminator. My laminator is already warmed up. And here she goes. made so I made these tabs as you can see I've cut them out I used I believe I got these letters from Michaels or either Joann's I'm not sure I don't know if you can see them so they're gold and what I did was I just put them in between some laminating paper actually it was old laminated paper and I just broke the seal on them pasted them in and resent them back through the laminator and then I cut them out and then I place one like kind of over top it's not perfect let me zoom in <clears throat> it's not perfect but it's good enough for me okay and then here I did this one there we go so that one because it was already on there and then did I do another one? I didn't. So what I'm doing is leaving the month. So let me kind of just catch you all up. I'm leaving the month's pages, but what I'm doing is taping the boards that I'm making over top of the months. So that way I don't have to take out the month's page and it can stay the way that it's supposed to be on the back. So, but I've taken out April already. So I'm still making dashboards, so I did this one. I glued that in. And thinking of glue, I wanted to try the Tombow tape, and you know, I heard good things about it. I was loving it, but this is what happened. And it's expensive. Luckily, I caught it on sale, but I see so much back here. Like, can somebody explain to me? Because I really would hate to waste it. Like, let me know if I can use that or something. Through. And so I have this here. And okay, let me take that out. I'm about to un look. A5 girl to my guy. 
So now what I'm going to do is just tape this onto this month is July. So my table is a freaking mess, you all. So just please, please, please ignore it.
And then I think I did one for work. I did one for work. So when I get some more glue, <laughs> I'll figure that part out. But so far, that's what I have. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's thick. So I know I'm going to go through and take some things out and redo it. And I'll give you an official flip through. So there it is. So now I can put it. Okay. So I have a, also, let me state this. I have a new um, traveler's notebook coming. I'm getting it from print, not print questions. I found a shop on Etsy. If I remember it, Nabucco, Nabucco. So I'm just going to slide there like that now this is my dollar fifty if you follow me on Instagram you so saw I got this for dollar fifty for Michaels it's fine nothing's wrong with it but I still wanted something else so it's kind of sticking out but there she is so I hope you all enjoyed this long video thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video let me get her finish getting her together There's a couple of bows I'll add some trinkets and things later okay that front cover moves pretty good though it's just everything in between so I have to go back in and make sure I got everything so I used the rose gold classic disc <clears throat> I made my own mini dashboards and cover again this one here is a little big I kind of want to cut it down but I'm, I'm afraid of cutting off too much so I may just leave that there but she's nice and thick and I like it chunky so and here I have a, a pin loop so that's it I finally got it together it's taking me about two weeks thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye